Hi guys, Ken here from Backpacking Light. And right now, I'm gonna talk about the Sierra Designs High Side. It's a, a solo one-man tent, complete with tent stakes. Everything weighs about 870 grams. I'm just gonna set that up, show you what it's like on the inside, talk about some of the things I like, some of the things I don't like, and uh, hopefully give you a pretty good idea about the high side. So like a lot of the newer tents coming from Sierra Designs, they have this kind of like the side opening and that's the full package and that's got the tent pegs and tent poles in there. So you can see it's quite small. It uh, doesn't even come up to my elbow there. So it's one of the smaller solo tents that you're gonna buy, especially solo double wall tents that you can kind of get a feel for that in the actual weight itself at 870 gram. So the high side is meant to just be a very lightweight, simple solo solution. Now I'll show it with the fly on as well, but I just wanted to give an idea of just you know how roomy this tent is even though it only weighs 880 grams and you can see yeah I mean it's not massive I'm 190 long that's about 6'3 and I weigh about 92 kilos somewhere around there so is it the largest solo tent on the market no of course not but it's certainly one of the more stable and uh, larger, I guess I would call it the mini solo tent trend that is coming. You know, the, where the Lufutens are, the uh, Nordisk Lufuten. And he, there's a few other brands in there that are just doing these like or extraordinarily small, almost not usable tents. This one doesn't really fit there because it is usable. It is a usable solo tent. And as you can see, you could easily make the case that this is about all you want to do in a tent when you're solo hiking and you're doing fast packing, which is what this is meant for, fast packing. And you can see I have this one side open and I'll show the different configurations as well. Like I'll go ahead and open up this side as well. Yeah. So with this tent, this is something I really like about the Sierra Designs high side. Is that you can make a big awning like this. And I only have one side up, but you could do just the same on the other. So if you're hiking with trekking poles or you're hiking somewhere, you know you'll find these long sticks. Just having this very big awning that you can just lay here have that open and just look out. The Light Heart Gear So Long has an awning as well. And there's, a, there's some tents, even the, the tarp tent double rainbow. But for me, this is the best implementation of the awning because it, it's not just a side feature that you have to buy something extra for. And it's not just a side feature that you might or might not use. The awning on this is something I've used quite a bit. Now this is your top view I guess and you can see how wide that awning is it's just as wide as the tent itself where you sleep and it's that extra portion there and you could easily do it on the other side really nice vents down here that are easily stowed away and it, you can either close it completely or open that up like that and it's got all these extra guy lines in there and everything is included in the price of it itself to click on the fly it's an easy just simple click now I can't actually maybe I can do it with one hand no you can see that that's nice little guy line tighteners and even these the pulls themselves just kind of snap in there. They just snap into place. It's a very easy process. And then you've got all these different guideline 
tensioners depending on you know how windy it is how much you need to tie everything down now I just got a really lazy setup and to put that fly on it's pretty easy because you got the one that's red so it's color-coded you put that one in and everything else just kind of falls into place this tent the high side is meant to be for bike packers uh, you know we don't have your own trekking poles it's meant for the the ultralight trail runners 880 grams for what you see here and that gives you plenty of living space for me I've slept in this uh, quite a few nights and I think it works for me but it's not something I would prefer just because I'm quite big but I've certainly slept in much smaller solo tents that don't offer nearly as much comfort and so that's something to take into consideration I think up to about 190 that's about as long as tall as you want to be in this and even if you have trekking poles you still have a pretty good use for the trekking poles themselves 300 euros I think it's actually about 270 euros so it's a great price tent for what you get you get a complete tent ready uh, all you have to do is set it up and you're ready to go so Hope you liked the review, uh, leave comments at the comments section. If you like Backpacking Light, like our videos, buy our gear, cheers.